Today, I am bringing you some beautiful, heatless, short hairstyles that are kind of like an updo in a way. They're super easy, they're beautiful. You can wear them to work, you can wear them on a date, to a wedding, whatever it may be. But the best thing is they're heatless and they're super easy and fast. For these short hair updos, you will need a couple of products to work with to make the hairstyles work, bobby pins and clear elastics. And also depending on what type of hair you have, because I did wash it today, it is super silky and soft and doesn't have a lot of texture and grit. So I'm gonna add a couple of my favorite products into my hair, the Elizabeth and James Nirvana Black Dry Shampoo and the Orbe Dry Texturizing Spray. And can I just say, I love the colors black and gold together. Obviously, I love them together. They're so pretty. So the first hairstyle is gonna be a contemporary French twist. I'm gonna start with the first section. I'm gonna start where my eyebrows have that little arch. I'm gonna just take my, my pointer fingers, meet them in the front, and then meet them in the middle to grab a section of hair. I'm gonna split it right in half, and this is where I'm gonna start crisscrossing them over. Once, I'm gonna go to this side first, grab a section of hair about towards the middle where the section like crosses over, and I'm gonna add this new section over to the other section on the other side, just like that. Go to the other side, grab a section of hair, and then add it to the other side. So you see it's kind of adding this full braid, but kind of just a crisscross. And then continue doing that until you reach about the crown of your head. Once I get to the crown of my head, I'm gonna cross the sections over one more time without adding hair, stop, and then I'm gonna tie them off with a clear elastic so they stay in place. So let's move on to the French twist portion of this hairstyle, and I'm gonna start on the left side of my head, and I'm gonna start gathering the hair towards the back in the middle. Once this left side is nice and smooth going towards the back of the middle of my head, I'm gonna take my bobby pins and start bobby pinning my hair nice and tight to my scalp, going from the bottom to the top of my crown. To help the section be a little bit more tight and secure with the bobby pins, I like to cross the bobby pins over each other going from the bottom towards the top. Let's create the French twist portion of the hairstyle. So the, whatever hair you have left, I'm gonna gather it towards the back of my head, towards the middle where the bobby pins are. And that's also a great guideline, as well as it keeps the hair secure, but it's also a great guideline to where the twist should be laying. So the twist should be perfectly in the back of the middle of your head. So I'm just gathering my hair, I'm making sure I don't have any crazy bumps. And then once I have it sort of like in a ponytail, but not really, uh, that's why I'm gonna start creating the twist. So you take the ends and you tuck them a little bit and then you start rolling kind of like a pizza dough or some kind of bread that you start rolling towards the middle underneath the actual hair towards the bobby pins. So it creates that beautiful French twist. And then once you have the desired twist, you're gonna start bobby pinning it away and securing it. Like a cinnamon bun. Yes, cinnamon rolls. It's like you my cinnamon bun. Oh well. <laughs> so after you're done pinning down the French twist, I'm gonna go back up to this area right here and I'm gonna sort of section it a little bit and make it a little bit more voluminous towards the front, kind of give it a little bit more texture on the top of my head. And like you saw, I only focused right here towards the front where I raised it and give it a little bit more volume. And I think it gives it a nice contemporary twist on the French twist hairstyle. What do you guys think? I think this is perfect for work, for date nights, for weddings. I love this hairstyle, it's super easy. It's, it's a little bit different with a twist, but it's super pretty and it's classic. Do you think this hairstyle is joli? Oui? So hairstyle number two is going to be a sleek updo. So I'm just grabbing a nice section of hair, make sure it's pretty even on each side, and then take some bobby pins and then secure it. Once I have the pompadour in the front all nice and pinned down, I'm gonna start working on the sides of my head and I'm gonna pin them underneath the section that's running down the middle. Make sure it's nice and smooth down. You can use a comb to smooth it down. But make sure you grab the hair and you put it underneath this front, this middle hair in the back. So I'm gonna work my way down from the top to the bottom on the side hairs and I'm gonna make sure when I pin them back towards the middle of my hair, I have a nice thick section of hair that's going down the back of my head. And then continue working on the other side as well, working from the top down. Once the sides of my hair are pinned back towards the middle, I'm gonna be left with like this faux mohawk towards the back. 
So I gather my hair in the back and it's gonna be into either a messy bun, a little ponytail, depending on how long your hair is, how short it is. I like to do it into kind of like a low messy bun. I roll it, tuck it, and then I kind of messy it up and pin away the ends with bobby pins. So the reason why I love this hairstyle so much is because it's so versatile and it's different and it looks like it took me a long time to create it but it's super easy and I love the different directions the hair is going. You have a little bit of volume, it's going sleek on the sides, it's going down in the back and then whatever you want because of the length of your hair you can either leave it down, you can do it into a little ponytail, you can do like a messy bun like I did. It's very fun, play with it and see what you like. This next hairstyle is gonna be a sleek rocker look, kind of like on the take of the pull through braid, but it's far simpler. I'm gonna grab a section in the front. I'm gonna take it towards the back. Once you have a nice section of hair, take the clear elastic, and this is where we start doing that little rocker look. So I'm gonna take the elastic once, and then the second time, I'm gonna almost take the hair through, but I'm gonna leave it about like halfway out, kind of like a, a messy bun in a way, I guess, like a half bun. Before I move on to the next sections for the ponytailers or the half messy buns, I'm gonna take this section right here, whatever is left, kind of like the faux ponytail, and I'm gonna wrap it around just to hide that clear elastic. I'm gonna add at least five to six sections of hair like I did to the first one, just to have make them a little bit more tighter together so they wanna be a crazy amount of space in between the sections. So I'm gonna just gonna continue down and just same thing. Take up, take some hair. Make sure it's not too crazy on the sides, and then take a clear elastic and tie it off. So I actually did seven sections because I wanted the sections to be as close as possible to each other. But you see how you can see kind of through them. Now we're gonna go in and kind of loosen them up and then pin them back with bobby pins and just create a more fuller effect. So it really helps to make it nice and full. I'm gonna take the bottom section and connect it to the top one from, from above. And just connect it, take the bobby pin, and pin some sections away. Loosen it up from the bottom, connect it from the top section. We're kind of bringing them down closer to our scalp so it's not flying everywhere. Now move on to the other side and do exactly the same thing, focusing on the outer portions and connecting the bottom and the top pieces together to create a more fuller effect. So there you have it. This is kind of like my sleek rocker look where it looks super intricate and detailed, but yeah, it was super easy to do. I love it. All right, so there you have it. I hope you guys liked my super simple yet polished updos for short hair. Let me know which one was your favorite in the comment section down below. Thank you so much for watching and spending some time with me, and I'll see you guys very soon. Bye.